Hi Evelyn. Hello. Welcome Hi, to Bucharest. Thank I'm you Lorena. very much. Welcome. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Uh, so, you brought Vienna here. Yes. In uh, Bucharest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How is it? Have you? Did you have enough time to explore? Not the city? yet. Like hopefully on the weekend, I will see a lot. Like I've uh, heard a lot about Bucharest. So yes. I need to see like the old town and everything. So it's your first time here? It's my first time here, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you bring the whole old spirit of uh, Vienna I bring here. the Viennese coffee culture to Bucharest, yeah. Yes, <laughs> and the strudel. And the strudel, the apple strudel, <laughs> the famous apple, apple strudel. <laughs> yes, and the famous. So I've heard that you've been, um, uh, you've worked in a cabin crew. Mm -hmm. You were an assistant. Uh, I was a flight, flight attendant, attendant, yeah. A long yes, time ago, attender. yeah. I was flying, yeah. How long time? Ah, uh, it was like about 15 years ago already. Okay. I was like flying for like three and a half years. Yes. And it was like really nice time. It I enjoyed was. it very much. Yeah, right? I was flying a lot and all why, around the world. Why did you leave? Why because did you leave? It's a very nice job. It's a very nice job. Like I did like right after school, I decided to do something like it's a dream job when you like yeah. leave school and like you finish and then like it's the first thing you would like to do, traveling. Yeah. But then like after three and a half years, I wanted to do something different. So. Mm -hmm. That's why I decided like to take to the chance and do something. Do totally. something else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you went to coffee. I went to coffee. Yeah. Years years later, like in between, there were some other steps. I was in. I was living in Paris, for example. Oh, and nice. I was traveling a lot. Yeah. yeah. Then like finally, I'm here with coffee. Yeah. So how did you get to coffee? It was um, a, you, you. It was were a like lover of I was always a coffee, coffee lover, lover, of course. Yes. Yeah, but like just I just like to drink coffee. But it was like a circumstance. Like mm -hmm. I was working in marketing. Okay. And after some time, I decided to quit to do like a journey around the world for like one and a half years. Okay. So I was like really traveling around the world, like from Asia, South Africa, South America, like okay. really. And then I visited some coffee countries as well. I visited some coffee farms. Mm -hmm. I was roasting there. And then like there was oh. this idea of like so maybe you doing start something from the, from the bottom, from the very, from the rich in especially, yeah. like really from the coffee countries itself. Yeah. Yes. Uh, did you have enough time to see in Bucharest how people are um, drinking coffee in here instead of Vienna, let's say? I haven't seen a lot, but I've heard a lot about like the coffee culture in, in Bucharest. I mean, yeah. there are also like traditional coffee houses, but like in the meantime, like the coffee quality and like really the coffee spirit in Bucharest mm -hmm. like booming. I've heard a lot, yes. there are a lot of specialty coffee shops like in Vienna, but I think it's even more in Bucharest. Right really? Now. I've heard there are like about like 50, like 50 coffee bars, like mm -hmm. really specialty coffee bars mm -hmm. in Bucharest already. That's you really have a good. you have a coffee bar also. Yeah, we have a coffee bar and a roastery back For in Vienna. For how long? Um, it's like now six years now. Six years. Six now. years. Yeah, wow. we just celebrated our six years birthday. Oh, no, that's <laughs> congratulations! Thank and, you. Um, I know that in Vienna, you drink uh, a lot of coffee also, yep. but you have a lot of um, mixed you mix a lot in the coffees you put uh, like liquors, uh, liquors like alcohol yes. cognac yeah yes <laughs> sometimes as well yeah 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 so we use like a lot of whipped cream for example as well for like a lot of cream traditional there are yeah. a lot of traditional coffees like in austria like yeah. where we're using a lot of like different ingredients like yeah cream and like liquors and like spices maybe as well yes so it's spicy also yeah. yes uh, is this a tradition or it's, it's, it's quite traditional? Yeah, it's you not more, a trend right mm, now. No, the new trend is like more like the modern coffee houses, more so of like really cappuccinos, flat yeah. whites, lattes. That's yeah. what we are serving in our coffee yeah. bar as well. Yeah. But like the old traditional way is like really serving, for example, our uh, cappuccina, franciscana, mm -hmm. Maria Theresia with like orange liquor inside. Yes. But mm -hmm. your your main. Um, it's the cappuccino. It's the cappuccino. It's the, the, the drink that like is ordered most. You drink yeah. it all over. It's yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And it's uh, it's mixed that also. Yeah. They mix that in cappuccino also. Yeah. But it's your main. Um, that's the coffee we, we serve most. That's the coffee. Espresso you serve most. and cappuccino. Espresso yeah. and cappuccino. Yeah. And do you know the name cappuccino is coming from Austria? Actually, yes. I don't know if you know it. Like yes, the cappuccino. Yes. Cappuccino. Cappuccino, yes. like the cappuccino monks. And yeah. that's why like the cappuccino has like this white coat like of the steamed milk and like the foam it's yeah. because of the coat of the cappuccinos yeah, and then like yeah, they yeah. brought it to italy and then and then, yes. and then like the cappuccino but in italy for yeah. example uh, they don't drink uh, long coffee no they don't very have short and like very black. short 
Mm -hmm. The black and yes. short. So that's the short espresso. Yeah. But in different countries that I've been, they ask when you need when you ask for an espresso, they ask you back, do you want short or long? Yes, like sometimes like it's also like in Austria, that's our verlängerte. Yeah. Because they dilute the coffee with like they add water because they think like it's not as bitter, like it's more. It's, it's not complete. the coffee. It's not longer. Not too in, No, it's not like it's like more. You have more liquid in the cup. Let's say. Yes. Yeah. One espresso. Yes. The espresso is the same, but like added with hot water. Mm -hmm. Only with hot water. Hot water. Because I've seen some people that they are asking for the espresso to be long, mm -hmm. but when they say long, mm -hmm. it's long coffee. Yeah. It's not espresso. The thing is, you can <laughs> do it as well. You can like do a, like a longer. That's like really coffee. Yeah. Uh, knowledge more or less. But you yeah. can like for the normal falangata, you can like um, extract one espresso, but like extract longer. Mm -hmm. But the problem is like we never do it because yes. like you get all the bitter notes at the end, so the coffee is that. getting more bitter. Mm -hmm. And people think when they like order a falangata, like it's less bitter, but like yes. uh, normally it's it's getting more bitter. It's just a legend over it's, there. Yeah. It's not yeah. really. That's why I always say, of course we can do it, but like we just do like a normal as proper espresso. And we add some hot water. Yes. <laughs> How do you uh, like your coffee? I like it black, without sugar, without any spices, cream. Nothing. Nothing. Just black. Just black. Yeah. Every morning. Pure coffee. I drink coffee every morning. Yeah. Every morning. Yeah. <laughs> and how many coffees do you have per day? Me? Yeah. Um, it's very a very difficult question because like I'm um, in my work. Of course, when we are roasting, we like we cup or we taste a lot of coffee. So sometimes we have like 50 cups on a table we just like sip we just try yeah. the coffees and like see if it's like good good roast or we like see like for different roasting profiles so I cup mm -hmm. like 50 coffees yeah. a day sometimes yeah. that's normal so I'm used to it so this is normal to <laughs> that's you that's normal to me yeah <laughs> you are a barista day. also yes mm -hmm. that's your full job yeah let's say yeah um, how is it what do you do you you have a lot of workshops you yeah. teach people you go to uh, events yeah, and do uh, competitions competitions as well, as well. Yeah, yes it's a lot yeah so how is it beside the normal business I'm doing like I'm yeah. running the, the business that's the thing I like most like just standing behind the bar and like serving coffee that's really it's not work for me it's like really fun talking to the people and like serving coffee is preparing doing mm -hmm. latte art that's what I really like most tell me about the sugar mm -hmm. we put sugar inside or not um, I would say if you have like a really good uh, like a really nice coffee with a nice roasting you don't need sugar mm -hmm. you need sugar if you have like a um, coffee that has like a lot of bitterness and it's like, really too strong and mm -hmm. like dark roasted mm -hmm. then maybe you need to add sugar to like take away the, the bitter yeah, notes but I have but a I have a story <laughs> uh, it was back in London uh, someone told me instead of sugar yeah. you can have a biscuit of course that's maybe the better idea yes yeah. Yeah. Why to put sugar inside of a coffee? Yeah. You, you ruin the coffee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so let's mm -hmm. do the Einspanner. 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 Yes. Yeah. This we'll do one. It. Perfect. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I have two espresso here. I serve it the, the Einspanner. I like to in serve the, the uh, coffee in a, in a glass. In a glass. Yeah. Yes. It's like a little bit like in a like. For wine that you like, have yeah. it in a really because nice because you see the coffee, way. you see the cream, yeah. you see the yeah. color, you see yeah. everything in the yeah, in and a glass. Yeah, you like turn it and like smell yeah. the, the fresh okay. coffee. And then what you put in? So what can I do? It's nothing to do. Like, okay. or would you like to have like the cream? Yes. Yeah, you can try. I will not. I will not ruin your coffee. <laughs> we'll I do promise. it together. <laughs> okay. You press it. Okay. One. Yes. And then you turn around. Yes. And stop. That's enough. Perfect. <laughs> a little more. Okay. What we put in is like a little bit of powder. This is powder. It's sugar. Hmm? Powder sugar. 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 And that's the Wiener Einspanner. This is. Yeah, you have to try. Yes, I will. <laughs> of course. Um, do not mix. You can like maybe like mix it around. Yeah, like. I need to. Mm -hmm. Of course. <laughs> This is the Einspinner. 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 And you know, when you like add some cognac to the Einspinner, you have the Fiaka, which is another drink. The cognac? Cognac, yeah. Okay. I'm not going to put the cognac. <laughs> I, I still have some work to do it's today. <laughs> so, no. We are going it's to a very. It has a very uh, mm. creamy texture. Mm -hmm. Let's see.
You like it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's exactly how yeah. how I want it. Yes. It's very creamy. Yes. It's like really full. I think it will not have the same uh, um, scent with milk. Mm, only with milk. With milk. Yeah. It's like really full body. Yeah. It's like really mm -hmm. creamy. It's more like a dessert. So in this case, you don't need a cake. <laughs> the coffee. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> you have the cream. Yeah. Yes. So, I hope you do explore uh, Bucharest these days yeah, I will. and to enjoy it and go yeah. to, a, I don't know, maybe a coffee, of course coffee bar or a coffee yeah, shop sure. to see. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Thank you as well. And uh, good luck. Thank uh, you. And I hope to see you next year yes. maybe. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you. <laughs>